So today we're going to jump into just a real quick tip on how to get some formatting done within your Power App Canvas. So stay tuned. Let's jump right to this very brief one to two minute video. All right, so there's three things we're going to go over today. How to add information here at the beginning before a, a label that you're putting in or a text input box that you're putting in, how to format this date number and how to format this um, percent number. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first one is how do we get this? Like for example, next, notice there's nothing else in there. If I click on there, notice it just says I'm calling out my this item right out of my um, uh, list. But here I'm putting in next inside of quotation marks with an ampersand and that's what that happens. You notice here, it, it kind of just flows in. So that's kind of cool. All right, next thing, we're at a minute, so let's get this done. Here, date. So how do we do a date? Again, we see that ampersand again. Notice it's kind of squished together, it doesn't really matter. But here, let's go ahead and just format this text so you can see it a little bit easier. So here, what we're doing is we're putting in text, open parenthesis, this item, that's the date field right there, comma, day, day, month, month, year, year. And that gives us this format right here. You could change it to be slashes. You could do month, day, year, however you want to do it. Very easy. All right, next one. So if you need to, <laughs> pause the video so you can get these quick tips down. Next one is percentage. Let's go to the percentage one. Oops, Daisy. And there's a percentage right there. Notice here we're using a command called roundup. Roundup. So here round up and then we have this comma two which is the number of decimals so as you can see here it's it's extending out just the two decimal and that's how that looks and one last bonus here is this is a gallery that you select to go to a form i'm going to go ahead and select this here as the primary now notice here that my items right which should be but notice what i've done with the on select so on select, I go ahead and I call out that form, uh, these forms that are going on, right, with this variable. But the point is that I don't have a little arrow thing or something like that. Anywhere you click in here, you can go directly to the form. So that's the quick tips for today on kind of dressing up the way your canvas looks and acts in Power App.